Hey YouTube, my name is Jeff and welcome back to my series. In my previous video, I talked about how I wanted my own phone holder, and since I couldn't find one that I liked, I designed my own. My design incorporated docking functionality, so I could charge my phone from a slot in the bottom of the holder with a standard cable. I also mentioned that I would be 3D printing this phone holder on a MakerBot, and be recording the process. I first made sure that the phone holder was properly oriented and scaled in the MakerBot software, and then I began printing. I was excited to see the final product, and I was sure that by utilizing supports and a raft during printing, it would come out as planned. The raft, a layer of disposable plastic, is printed first to prevent warping. Supports have a similar function, but are used vertically to prevent drooping on downward facing surfaces. Once the raft is complete, the printer starts building the actual part. As it builds, the printer constructs additional supports that will help shape the rest of the part. I noticed that the part began warping slightly at the bottom, but it looked like it wasn't serious enough to make the holder wobbly. Since 3D printed components need to be strong but still lightweight, the 3D printer uses a honeycomb pattern instead of making the part solid, since that would take up significantly more time and be a waste of material. The pattern is continued through the model to make up the walls between the open space. The printing was coming along nicely, but I noticed there was an issue with the fillet on the groove where the phone sits. It didn't print properly. Since that particular fillet wasn't essential to the part's structural integrity, I didn't see a need to redo the whole part. I had some ideas on why this happened though, and once the print finished, I planned to do more research on what might have been the cause of it, and try to contact MakerBot to see if they know why it happened. The MakerBot took about 5 hours and 38 minutes to print, so I had to increase the speed by 800%. The majority of the printing time was in the detailed bottom part of the holder, and once the bottom was completed, the rest was just printing the back where the phone rests. The final holder came out great, and when removing the supports in the raft, I found that by leaving a part of the support, it sat perfectly, despite the slight warping that occurred at the edges. I'm happy with how the phone holder came out despite the slight issue with the fillet, but it holds my phone like I wanted it to. Sadly, the charging cable is a little bit too big to fit flat in the holder, but I had the idea to incorporate a Qi wireless charger into the back of the holder and charge that way. I plan on getting a Qi charging coil and a receiver for my phone soon, and once it arrives, I'll be filming the conversion process, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome 3D modeling and printing videos.